Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Annie Jamel, and I am finally back with an update on my Pandels, Pandos palette for 2020. Um, I'm panning two different palettes. One is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette, that one. And the other one is my Nubian 2 um, Juvia's Place. Um, I'm gonna let you know right now it's not the best progress even though it's been a minute I mean we've been dealing with quarantine and different things um, and I went a while without wearing makeup I recently got back into wearing it so I went a while without um, using these eyeshadows and I've been ex just using other stuff in my collection too but I'm trying to get back on the wagon with this thing but anyways let me stop we're gonna go in the Nubian 2 first. I feel like I made the less progress with this. I actually haven't touched it in a while. I probably haven't touched it since the last update, which is horrible, I know. Sorry guys, I'm off my mojo today. I'm gonna just roll the clip of the previous pictures of before. And this is what we're here, what we're at today. Um, I think I made a decent dent in this one. What is that? Yah? Yeah. And Yah. Um, I tried to do some progress in Egypt. And this one, remember, my goal was to completely pan this one. And I haven't used this. I haven't touched this in a while. I need to really get back on this because I feel like it's not going to take me any time to just finish that up. I also want to do some more work in Layla. It's just not my go-to shade, but I really need to focus on this. And I think I used, it was either Nefertiti or Nairobi, one of these. I don't care for golds, so I really need to push myself to use these because I kind of like haven't touched them at all. And I really need to push myself to get Pan and Jezebel because I don't know if you can see that. Here you go, it's a nice dip in there and a nice dip in what is that Madagascar yeah no Morocco my bad so I really need to work on these mats those are the main ones I'm targeting along with Egypt because I really want to get some more dips in there and you see this dip in yeah I mean look at that I could totally hit pan in that within a, the next month or so so those are my goals going on. I'm going to try to really push myself to use this. Um, I really want to hit pan in Egypt, y'all. Uh, I want to get like half of this gone. And I need to start working on Nefertiti or Nairobi. I don't know. With this, I think with the summer coming up, I think I'll really utilize these uh, golds and yellows. Because lately I've been digging them. I was against golds and yellows because I just didn't care for them, but I did one look using uh, this palette, the rose gold palette, and I actually liked it. It, lo it looks very pretty on me, so I need to like get into that more often. Sorry I keep doing this, you guys. I got bit by something. Mother Nature is just eating me. Look at that. Do y'all see that? It's horrible. I know. The bugs just come after me every year. But anyways... <clears throat> And now on to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remaster Palette. We are going to go ahead and show you the before clips right now. And this is what we're working is it focus? Yes, it is. This is what we're working on today. I've been really pushing myself to hit pan in this one. It's really deep. I think a couple more uses and I'll get it. And I've been really using this black. I'm not too, um, I don't know. I'm not too motivated to use the black. I have been using it for like my brows and just to deepen up the look. So I use it often, but it looks like I never touched it. So I don't know what's going to happen with this black. I've also been using these, this pink and this purple as well because I feel like I really need to get into it. And as far as these up here, uh, my favorite one is the rose gold shade. So I've been really using that. And the trust fund shade. Um, but yeah, I used this gold one like once. I just really need to push myself to use this whole top row and everything. 
just a little bit more often and these shades right here these three shimmers right here I completely neglected those so I really need to work on this way more in the coming months and I feel like I'm doing a good job with henna with that shade right here I don't know if can you see the dimension of the dip yeah kind of that one and I need to use this more overall I just need to really work really push myself to work on this palette more um I have used it way more than I used uh the Juvia's Place since the last um update because I felt like I was like really neglecting this one and remember this one is like brand new so I really had to like put more effort and time on it so I really need to um I don't know create kind of like a schedule or something when I could like balance both of these and get them equal use it's going to be hard especially since I got a couple of new palettes and I just got to focus on it and I don't know if you can see this dent this dent right here a rose gold Hold on, I'm trying not to blind you guys. Right here. That one. Yeah. I've been really working on these, but I feel like these shades are going to be really hard to pan because it's just like, it's like it multiplies whenever I use it. Um, so yeah, not much progress, but I really wanted to just come in here and check in with you guys on this project because it has been a while since I posted an update and everything and I'm gonna really try to get these pans out for you because we're wet in June towards mid-June so 2020 is going to be over before we know it and by the end of 2020 I really want to have some significant progress on these palettes for you all um I do have a different setup going on here to let me know what you think about it um I don't know I'm just trying to do things differently here I am currently working on a collection video showing you all my makeup and palettes and everything so be on the lookout for that yeah I've been really pushing myself to like work on my projects especially my project 10 use um, project I got going on I think that's a very successful project so far so be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for more uh, makeup tutorials I feel like it's been a while since I gave y'all a tutorial so I need to get back into my zone but as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your time and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.